Well, here it is, the last story from our five-part series about Iowa's 2010 Orange Bowl team. Don't forget the rebroadcast of that game Saturday night, 7 o'clock on the Quad City CW, channel 26.1. This evening, Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso tells us how a group of unique personalities left a lasting legacy during one of the best seasons in program history. The people on that team, everyone from top to bottom was some kind of crazy. And then we had Greenwood that was the most normal one that would kind of reel us all in. Eccentric characters that were more like brothers than teammates. We were all friends. Everybody would, you know, giggle and laugh together and the locker room was real tight. And so when you have that, when you win, it just makes everything that much better. A group that mastered the balance between working hard and having fun. We did a good job of when it was time to go, it was time to go, but we also messed around a little bit and joked around. I think we had a lot of good personalities there, but when it's time to work, we we're working. The 2009 Hawkeyes endeared themselves to Iowa fans because of their personality. They won 11 games because of a singular focus. Iowa football was the most important thing in our life, without a doubt. I mean, that was it. You knew that everyone had the same mentality. We all came from different places, all came from different backgrounds. Uh, but we had a very single-minded goal. And you kind of get a feel for those teams that are special where every, where every week really is the most important week. That approach served the group well at the Orange Bowl. For me, I was down there to win a, to win a BCS game. Miami's great, but I got the rest of my life to spend in Miami. I didn't have the rest of my life to do that. So that was my main vocal point. I think that was the majority of us. We were there to do a job, to finish this special season in a special way. Special is an understatement. Broderick Bin says winning with such a tight-knit group is something that simply can't be replicated. That feeling in the locker room, like we worked hard for a month for, for this game, for this victory, and just seeing the smile on everyone's faces in the locker room, I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, that's, to this day, like, that's what I miss now. Euphoria for everyone wearing black and gold because of the commitment from a group of so-called misfits. A lot of people say, you know, sometimes you're done playing, you take it for granted, you know, you didn't, you didn't, you weren't all in. But for us, like, I don't think anybody took that team for granted, that season for granted. Like, that was, we knew what we had. We made it important, and we fought, and we battled. Reporting in Rock Island, I'm Adam Rosso. And you can watch the game. A reminder once again, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock on the Quad City CW, channel 26.1, Iowa, Georgia Tech. I think you'll enjoy it, and you can see it tomorrow night. And finally, today was Adam Rosso's final day with us, and I want to thank Adam Rosso for years of tremendous work. Standing ovation to you, sir. All the best. You're going to be missed. And over to you. He will be missed. Good luck, Adam.